All right, ladies, we're going to start off with a little impro. Oh, so, um, oh, yeah, well, so we'll just Where's that? No just impro improvisation. What so, improvisation. So what we do is we uh, we set a scene and we act oh, out that scene. Can we just set the, establish the scenario? Just go quickly and then come be back. You want me to talk about my feelings? Yeah, like some kind of Dr. Phil shit. I didn't do nothing. She deserved it. All the prisons and she has to come to mine. Sweet, man. God made that happen. And when God wants something to happen, it happens, you know. Man can't do nothing about it. I got a good though, innit? She always thought she was prettier than me. She shouldn't have touched him. Everybody knew he was mine. Just because I let him be with some random chicks didn't mean he didn't love me. It's a sex scene, you get me? That's it. <laughs> I don't want to manage it, please. Hi. What's going on? You ain't got no man, no? I had his heart. I was the one he loved. I was the one he wanted. And I was the one he was going to marry. For my birthday. He took me away. He took me to this proper posh hotel in London. Had like real gold taps in the bathroom. The bed was massive. The TV was huge. Cost like 500 pound a night or something. But he said it didn't matter. I was his girl. I loved him so much. It's like I could feel him moving in my heart. Just supposed to be once. He said he wanted something a bit different. So she was gonna give him head and that's it. She gave him head bare times. Started saying she was better than me. He started asking her to hang with us and when it was just supposed to be us two, she'd be there getting in all our business and shit. And he was always touching her and kissing her and shit. One night, he asked her to, um, he wanted her to be with us, innit? If she knows only this once, like, you know I love you, innit? He never had another chick with us before. It was always just me and him. I told him I didn't want her with us. I told him he could do anything he wanted to me. He said it was better to free us. I see this taxi centre. You're my girl. You're the one I want. You're the one I love. You're the one I'm gonna marry. He asked me to pick up some gear. He never made me pick that shit up. That's what them randoms are for. But he said he needed someone he could trust. I told him I didn't want to do it, but he didn't listen. And when I got to the estate, the feds were there. Said they'd had a tip off. How could he do that to me? How could he just, like, replace me like that? I'm telling you. God sent her to me. She gets sent down, yeah, for the same thing I did. Gets sent to my prison. Ends up in my drama class. Coincidence? I don't think so. That's God right there. So, I asked her if I can make a cup of tea. Do this one thing and then... I tell him some shit about missing making tea for my mum and he buys it. Just come, come, come. 
Two, two, the kettle's boiled. I'm in the kitchen and back in the room like that. I poured a whole kettle all over her head. Every last drop. And she's screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming and I just stand there, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> she thought she was so nice she could just come in and take my man like that. Like I was shit. Yeah? Well, who's gonna want an hour with half a fucking face burn off? It's funny, isn't it? Who's the prettiest now? I wish I'd known to love you right before. 